Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, all praises and glory be unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. There were honest through our apostles and elders at Great Millstone who taught us the truth and who rule well. Peace, love, salutations, and mercy be unto the hopeful elect. We trust in his word. And his word says that there is going to come a time where they were going to implement a mark of the beast system. And that this time was going to be very trying. Now, it makes all the sense in the world that they're going to use this COVID-19 scare, all right, and the fear mongering that comes with that to collapse the economy, put a lot of people and um, make make them lose their jobs. All right. As I speak, there's, a, there's an article in front of me that reads COVID-19 lockdown threatens to destroy 37 million jobs in the U.S. Unemployment in the United States could hit unprecedented levels in the coming weeks and months, according to the recent research by the developers of the U.S. private sector job quality index. And that's uh, JQI job quality index the point to force heart of business activity in the city's municipal uh, municipalities and states in an attempt to lessen the spread of coronavirus outbreak statistics show that some 37 million domestic jobs are vulnerable to layoffs due to the temporary shutdowns created by the health crisis now if everything returns back to normal, then you're going to see a lot of people who are jobless. And being jobless, they're going to be in a position where they're willing to accept all right, anything the government hands to them. And the government wants to hand you a stimulus package of however um, of the amount that they determine they want to give you. You know, which they say at this moment that it's a thousand, which initially they spoke about giving people checks. And they went to pass that through Congress, you know, and it didn't have enough votes to get passed through. So now they have another agenda, another plan, which has always been, been their agenda and plan from Jump Street, which was to deal with digital currency. All right, which that digital currency will be stored on a wallet. All right, and it will link every one of you to their to this digital currency blockchain system, which is what it's the mark of the beast system. All right, which we understand the end result of the digital currency. All right, being on a wallet will be being put on the RFID chip. And with this RFID chip, they'll be able to track every last transaction because digital currency isn't like, you know, uh, uh, um, it's, it's not like, um, you know, your credit cards or your debit cards. All right. It's a lot different that digital currency can be can be tracked more than a debit card or credit card can. All right. All of your transactions, all of your purchases even where you go you can be gps located so they want everyone on this system all right worldwide and this is a global agenda of the elites now in these times if you don't have faith in your how about shimmy i was shy these times are already hard to endure they're already difficult. But if you don't have faith in Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai, all right, if you don't have piety, all right, then how can you endure these times? There's no way you can. Now, I've brung this video, this, I'm sorry, I've brung this scripture out in the last two videos that I just did. I'm going to bring it out in this one as well, all right, because this is prevalent to the times that we're living in. And it's important. For you to understand this, this is Revelation 3 and 10, because thou hast kept the word of my patience. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So this hour of temptation is going to try everybody. 
Now, when this coronavirus scare is over, all right, a lot of people are going to be jobless. All right. And even if this thing, you know, they come out of this situation, there's not going to be a lot of jobs to return to because a lot of businesses are going to go out of business. A lot of businesses are going to go out of business. So people are going to be desperate as hell. They're going to be frantic. They're going to be in fear. They're going to be panicking and they're going to want this stimulus. Now Esau, es Esau can easily give you this stimulus through the RFID chip, man. All right. So we're waiting to see this and how this plays out. But in these times, when they get so bad, all right, because we're going to be in it, but through our faith in Yahweh Bashmi Awashai, hey, he can deliver us out of it. The word for patience is Hupomona, steadfastness, constancy, endurance. In the New Testament, the characteristics of a man who is not swerved from, the de from his deliberate purpose. And his loyalty to faith and piety by even the greatest trials of suffering. So you have to have a loyalty all right, to your faith. You have, a have to have a loyalty to your piety. All right? You have to be pious. You have to you know, uh, be spiritual. You have to have faith in these times. Understanding that this is the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And if you trust in him, all right, he can make a way for you and for your family, man. All right, really fast. This is a, a scripture out of the book of Psalms, the 33rd chapter. And it reads. Uh, I'll read from verse uh, 18. It says, Behold, the eye of Yahweh is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy. This is 33 and 18. All right, reading 19. It says to deliver their souls from death and to keep them alive in famine. Our souls waited for Yahweh. He is our help and our shield. For our heart shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy name. Let thy mercy, O Yahweh, be upon us according as we hope in thee. So your hope at this time should be in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And seeing that you're pious, seeing that you have faith, seeing that you have integrity, all right, a person that has integrity ain't going to take the chip. All right. Because they understand that this is this is part of the temptation. This is the temptation. All right, things are made so difficult. You know the lifestyle that you're used to living. All right, you're gonna lose that. All right, you're gonna lose. You might lose your house. You might lose things, man. But the scripture says, "Be as pilgrims of, on, on the earth in those days." And this is the agenda to, of, of Esau to make things so difficult. All right, even to the point of threatening your life with death. If you don't take the RFID chip. All right. He wants things to be difficult like that. All right. The same way that it was when you go into the book of the Maccabees. All right. And reading uh, second Maccabees, the sixth chapter. This is an example of Eliezer. All right. Who left behind an example of noble courage. All right. In a, in a virtuous memorial. All right. This man gave up his he, he he was willing to die then to transgress the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai all right and this shows that he was pious that he had piety and it showed that he had faith all right so this was an example that was left behind all right for not only our young men but also for his whole nation now you got individuals that are out there that are saying yeah take Esau's vaccination yeah, take Esau's uh, 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 chip. You know, you can just take the chip out. All right, because they're wondering, all right, how they're going to eat or how they're going to drink or how they're going to pay for things because they're carnal as hell. Their trust isn't that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai will provide them their daily bread, man. And matter of fact, when you go into Matthew's, the sixth chapter, and beginning at The 31st verse, it says, take, uh, take, therefore, take no thought saying, what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what shall we be clothed? What shall we be clothed? 
For all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of these, these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High and his righteousness, and all things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for tomorrow, for tomorrow shall take thought for the things uh, of itself. Sufficient unto today is the evil thereof. So today you should be seeking Yahweh Bashmi Shai. And our power will make a way for you within the famine. Now you have men, they don't have integrity. Alright, they don't have faith. They're not, they're not pious. Alright, they're not spiritual. So they'll say, yeah, take Esau's carnal mark. You know, you're gonna want to eat. You know, you're gonna want to drink. So these kind of individuals, even being leaders, are willing to sell you out to the devil, man. All right, and sell themselves out to the devil just so that they can be able to eat, which shows that they're nothing but covetous individuals. All right, a spiritual man would say, no, I'm not taking Esau's vaccine, or no, I'm not taking you know, Esau's carnal mark, even if I'm faced with a penalty of death, man. All right, understanding that our power is the power of heaven and earth, and that he can raise you from the dead. Now, you can go and read the whole chapter of 2 Maccabees, the sixth chapter, all right? But I'm gonna just hop straight to the point. Now, this is dealing with Eleazar. It says, but when he was ready to die with stripes, all right, because they forced him under the penalty of death, all right, to eat swine's flesh. And he said, no, I'm not eating it because he didn't want to stain his virtue. All right, he didn't want to stain his memorial. All right, he wanted to leave behind a virtuous memorial. He wanted to leave behind an example of courage. All right, it says, but when he was ready to die with stripes, all right, he groaned and said, it is manifest with Yahweh that the holy uh, knowledge that whereas I might have been delivered from death, all right, I now endure sore pains in my body by being beaten, but in soul and well content to suffer these things because I fear him. No fear in Yahweh by Shem whatsoever these other Leaders outside of Great Millstone have. They don't have any fear in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. It says, and thus this man died, leaving his death for an example of a noble courage and a memorial of virtue, not only unto young men, but unto all his nation. So you have to question yourself what kind of example are you leading your uh, leaving to your nation if you're telling them to go ahead and receive Esau's carnal mark? Or go ahead to receive Esau's uh, vaccinations. Instead of saying no, deny this man's vaccinations, deny his 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 chip, and Yahweh Bashim Yahushai will deliver you. You don't even tell them to trust in Yahweh Shai for deliverance, man. All right. If so be that we have to suffer and die for denying this man's chip, then then so be it, man. All right, because we serve a power that can raise us up from the dead. All right. You're not supposed to love your life. All right. Because those that love their life shall lose their life. All right. But those that lose their lives for the Lord's sake shall gain their lives, man. Hey, this is uh, uh, Revelations, the 12th chapter, verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto death. Because if you're a true believer, you understand that you live again. You understand that there's a such thing as a resurrection. You understand that there's a such thing as living again in, in, in the body, in a new body. And you can't say that you believe that Yahweh Shai, or, or you believe in whom the world Italy calls Christ or Jesus Christ, but you don't believe in the resurrection. You don't believe that 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 you rise again from the dead in which we do first corinthians the 15th chapter and the 16th verse for if the dead rise not then is not yahweh shy race so if the dead don't rise then how can you believe and say that yahweh shy rose from the dead if mashiach be not raised all right your faith is in vain all right ye are yet in your sins then they also which are falling asleep in Mashiach are perished. But it's not so, man. All right, those that fall asleep in Yahweh Shai, they will live again. 
All right, they will live again. And matter of fact, our brothers that have fallen asleep already, all right, they are waiting for us. And what do I mean by that? All right, when Yahweh Shai returns, they're going to be on the chariots already. All right, and we're going to go up there to meet Adoram Ratazah. We'd be a part of the elect, and that's the reason why we say hopeful elect. We're going to meet the Lord in the air. And our brothers that have fallen asleep in Yahweh Shai, all right, suffering many different things, all right, and having integrity, all right, losing their lives for, for this gospel's sake and to show their faith and their piety, all right, they're already there waiting on us. 1 Thessalonians, the fourth chapter, verse 14. For if we believe that Yahweh Shai died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Yahweh Shai will the Most High bring with him. All right? <laughs> so they're going to be with Yahweh Shai on that trip. It says, For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of our Lord, of the Lord, that Lord being Yahweh Shai, shall not prevent them which are asleep. For Yahweh Shah himself shall descend from heaven with the shout, the voice of, a, of the archangel, and with the trump of Yahweh, and the dead in Mashiach shall rise first. Then shall we which are alive and remain, all right, shall be caught up together, uh, together with them in the clouds to meet Yahweh Shai in the air. And so shall we ever be with Yahweh Shai. So it says, caught up together with them. All right, they're going to be in that chariot. Now, it says those that are alive and remain, because there's going to be some of you, all right, that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai allows you to, you know, stay alive. All right, and not to receive death. Matthew 16 and 28, verily I say unto you, there be some standing here which shall not taste death. Till you see the son of man coming in his kingdom. All right. And brothers are going to be delivered. All right. Them and their families without having to suffer. All right. And to die. All right. But some brothers will be tempted. Some brothers will be threatened with the penalty of death to receive the mark of the beast. And they're going to deny that chip. Showing forth great faith and great pi piety. All right. Leaving behind a, a memorial of virtue. All right, and an example of courage, just like Eleazar, or right, the priest, did back in 2 Maccabees, the 6th chapter. And with these brothers, it states this in Revelation, the 20th chapter, verse 4. It says, I saw the thrones, and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yehoshai. All right, they were beheaded for the testimony of Yehoshai. It says, and for the word of the Most High, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Yahweh Shai a thousand years. And when you go into this word for neither, for uh, Salakia, for not or neither, the word there for not is U, all right? And the word there for U, it says long, nay, neither, never. So they never receive the mark. All right, they rather die to receive Esau's carnal mark. They rather die than to sell out to the devil. They rather die than to take his RFID check. And what's going to happen? What's going to be the benefits of that? They lived in the reign with Yahweh Shai. All right, they were upon thrones and, and judgment was given unto them. All right, judgment upon who? All right, upon the, the other nations. And it tells you about that in Wisdom of Solomon, the third chapter, which I'm going to take it from one through nine. It says, but the souls of the righteous are in the hand of, of the Most High, which the Most High is Yahweh. It says, and there shall no torment touch them. And the sight of the unwise, they seem to die and their departure is taken for misery. All right. So the, the, the punishments that were laid upon them, the scourges, the whips, the beatings are right, the crucifying. All right, the things that they're suffered. Hey, hey, and the scripture says this, all right, concerning those that, that die for the Lord, man. All right, that die for faith. This is the book of Psalms. All right, in uh, uh, 72 and 14, it says, He shall redeem their soul from deceit and violence, and precious shall their blood be in his sight, man. Psalms 116 and 15, 
Precious in the sight of Yahweh is the death of his saints. All right, so when the Lord sees that you're willing to, you know, die for your faith, all right, in him and in his word, all right, and in his son, all right, then he will reward you. All right, and, and what is that reward? That reward is, is, is what was read in Revelations, the 20th chapter, verse 4. And also this right here. All right, because in the sight of men, you know, some of us may seem to be punished. All right, yet, like the scripture says, is their hope full of immortality? For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality? All right, because they will live again. And having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. For Yahweh proved them and found them worthy for himself. All right, as gold in the furnace, have they have he tried them and received them as burnt offering? We're gonna be tried in the furnace. And the scripture say in Isaiah 48 and 10, Behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. So hey, we're gonna catch hell in these times, but Yahweh Bashmi Shai is gonna make a way all right, for, us, for us to escape. All right, with the exception of some of the brothers having to uh you know suffer and to uh, you know die an honorable death for this faith but they're going to be rewarded hey, as it states right here in verse 7 and in their visitation they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks amongst the stubble all right because they're going to have spiritual powers with the new glorified bodies they're going to be the first ones in it they shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people and their lord shall reign forever they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, and such as be faithful in love, I shall abide with him, for grace and mercy is to his saints, and he hath a care for his elect. So he's not going to just let them, you know, die for believing in him through his son, Shai, and just leave them in the grave. All right, but no, he's going to allow them to rise up, man, and they will live again. All right, this is the book of Isaiah, the 26th chapter. In the 11th verse which reads it says Yahweh when thy hand is lifted up they will not see but they shall see and be ashamed for the envy of the people yet the fire of thine enemy shall devour them and Salakia I read 11 I meant to read 19 it says thy dead men shall live together with my with, with my dead body Shall they arise, awaken, seeing ye that dwell in, du in the in dust? For the dew, for thy dew is as the dew of an herb, and the earth shall cast out the dead. So the dead men that die for this faith, all right, they're gonna live together, uh, uh, again together, all right, and they're gonna come with Yahweh, man. All right, so this video was a video to show that you should have faith and that you should have piety. All right, and that you should endure whatever, whatever trial is brought upon you within this time with faith and piety. And that you can, you know, with that you overcome, you know, temptation. Let's see. I just want to grab the word for patience again. I'm going to keep harping on this. All right. It says in the New Testament characteristics of, men, of, of a man who is not swerved from his deliberate, deliberate purpose and his loyalty and faith and piety by even the greatest trials of suffering. So even in the midst of the greatest trials and suffering, all right, which these times that we're about to go through is going to be similar to the time of the Maccabees. All right. But instead of swine that they tempt us to take, all right, they're going to use the RFID chip. All right, and those times are going to be full of great trials and sufferings. All right, but you're going to have to be loyal to uh, faith and piety. All right, you're going to have to have patience. You're going to have to persevere and trust in Yahweh Bashmi Abashai. And Yahweh Bashmi Abashai is going to make a way for you, for you to escape. All right, and either he'll allow you to remain alive until the coming of his son, Yahweh Shai. You know, or even if you have to suffer an honorable death, a Yahweh Bashmi Shai will not leave you, you know, leave you in the grave. 
All right, he'll allow you to raise up and you're going to be the first ones with spiritual powers and in a new body. So with that, I truly hope that this lesson was edifying. Until the next time, inshallah.